Hey everybody, welcome back to Kat's Kitchen. So today what we're doing is we're gonna be making some ribs on the grill. So I'm gonna show you the dry rub that I'm gonna put on it for right now. And then later on I might serve some barbecue sauce on the side. Um, I might even brush them with barbecue sauce. We'll see what I end up doing. And then I also am making some potato salad right now for that. So what I did is I'm gonna spin you around here so that you can see what we're working with. And then eventually later on, I'll make um, another side vegetable with it, maybe some baked beans or so. So we're gonna have a nice little picnic because it's beautiful outside and the weather's great. So perfect time for grilling. Okay, so I have my big pot here. I have some red skin potatoes just softening up here. I did put a good bit of salt in there to season those potatoes. And then back here in my bowl, I have some chopped up red onion along with some celery. And I have a little more celery back there too in case I need it for our potato salad. And then here I have our ribs and this is the underside. So I'm gonna season this side first, we'll flip it over and then we'll season the other side. All right, you guys, so the first thing I did is take a paper towel and dry off the underside of this rack of ribs. And then whenever I flip it over after we season this side, I'll dry the other side as well. So we're gonna hit this with some onion and garlic powder, with some salt and pepper, paprika, and I'm gonna even hit it with a little bit of steak seasoning as well. And I'll leave you guys the recipe for this down in the description box below. This is a whole rack of ribs. I got this on sale at my local sable. We are gonna go heavy on the seasoning because this is a lot of meat. I already trimmed this as well. Okay guys, so we're back here. We're gonna be making our dressing and putting our potato salad all together. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So I've got my bowl here. I'm gonna start off with some mayo. Mayo of your choice. And then we're gonna go in with some mustard. You can use either a Dijon, even a little bit of yellow if you have it, or like a stone mustard. Um, then we're gonna use some salt and pepper. And then to thin it out a little bit, I'm gonna use a little bit of milk. And then if you have fresh, or use fresh dill. If you don't have fresh dill, you can still use the dry. That's what I have here today. So get it a little bit of that in there. Dill and potatoes go really, really well together. And then a little bit of milk. Next, we're just gonna whisk this together. And then we're gonna give it a little taste before we start putting our potatoes in here. Just remember when you're putting dry seasonings in, they have to rehydrate. Should look like this. We're gonna give this a little sample.
All right, I think that needs a little bit more mayo. Just a touch. And then just a little bit more mustard. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside for my potatoes, they've been cooling for me. I'm just gonna chop them up like one. Some of them are small enough. Some of them are just a little bit big though. So for those ones, I'm just cutting them in half. This is obviously a potato salad with the skins on. You can take the skins off if you prefer. Uh, this is just a little bit faster way to do it if you're pressed for time. If you boil your potatoes a little bit larger like I did, they're a little bit less likely to fall apart on you. Okay, so let's get some of these in here. Okay, next guys, I'm gonna add in my chopped celery and purple onion. So add that into our bowl. And then we're just gonna give this a good mix and then we'll give it a taste for seasoning. Salads like this usually taste better the longer they sit, so I'm making this ahead of dinner and I'm gonna let it sit in our refrigerator, and then I'll taste it a little bit later on to make sure that it's still on point. So here is our potato salad. Alrighty guys, so this is what we're starting with. I already put the barbecue sauce and basted it on the underside here. So now we're gonna work the other side. Technically this is the underside of the ribs here. So I just have our favorite barbecue sauce. You can use whatever you want. Obviously have our rub on there. I took it out, like I said before, about 45 minutes from the refrigerator before we're about to grill. So I'm just gonna base this barbecue sauce on here now. I have my grill on like a mid-low. So I wanna make sure this cooks evenly. I'm just gonna, after I'm done basting, I'm just gonna pop the grill lid down and let it cook at its own plate pace. And then I'll probably turn up the grill a little bit to get that char on it. And then we'll be flipping it over. All right guys, so here's our potato salad. I just had to add a little bit more salt to this after it sat for a little while. And here's our rack of ribs. And then I also have some beans and some mixed veggies on the stove. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.